For the last little bit, my first gen Pixel Fold has basically been my Android beta testing device. But that being said, I very rarely would actually put my SIM into a device that was testing an Android beta. But with this most recent Android 16 quarterly platform release number one, beta number one, I felt like that needed to change. Now don't get me wrong, it's not like this QPR1 beta one has some kind of crazy new feature that I just really wanted to try. It was all about the aesthetic and some people are gonna think that's absolutely silly to join a beta just for a change in the appearance of the UI of a device, but for me, I like that change so much that it made me want to install it onto my Pixel 9 Pro Fold so that I could actually experience what they are calling, what Google is calling, Material 3 Expressive. So I have daily driven this beta number one for the last few days. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what that experience was like and if it's stable enough for you to try to do the same. So the first thing I wanna quickly say is that if you wanna actually join this beta on your more recent Pixel device, if you go to google.com slash Android slash beta, you can scroll down and you can opt in with one of those devices. At that point, within a couple of minutes, you should be able to go check for updates and install this. Now, that being said, once you are on the beta track, it's not always super simple to get off the beta track. This is what I always keep trying to tell everyone. You can update without having to wipe your device. You cannot downgrade without having to wipe your device. So once you are on this beta, if you were to opt out, it's going to send you the base Android, I guess it's Android 15 because 16 technically has not rolled out. That is a downgrade. And that will tell you in that update when it's installing on your device, this is going to factory reset your phone. If you are in this beta and you've installed QPR1 beta one, you are here until QPR1 stable rolls out. Once that happens, you can opt out, it'll send you that and you should be absolutely fine. But for now, once you opt in, just keep in mind, if you don't want to wipe your phone, you're stuck here. So what has the experience been? Well, largely, it's been pretty solid. I did notice pretty quickly a bug with my wallpaper, sometimes going from cover display to inner screen. My wallpaper would basically like shift over and I would have this like large black area over here instead. Not a super huge deal. I would just go into wallpaper and style and I would change the wallpaper to something else and then change it back and that absolutely uh, fixed it. But there are some other bugs in the wallpaper and style section. Like it should be showing my more recent wallpapers down here, like the one that I'm currently set to, and it's just not down there. We'll try setting it again and we'll see if that puts that wallpaper back down there in that little quick switch setting. It doesn't, maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's how it always worked in the past. You always would see your most recent wallpapers down there. And I swear, I think that was a thing earlier. Regardless, I've just seen some weird things in this section, things being blank and just odd things happening. I was second guessing myself. So I pulled up my Pixel 9 Pro XL, which is running Android 15. As you can see, you can see the recent wallpapers there. Here's my first gen Pixel Fold running the beta and I don't have that section at all. So definitely some strange things happening. I've also had times where the device just kind of got a little bit warm for no apparent reason, which is a tensor processor. So it does run a little bit warm anyways, but not like overheating warm, but I just noticed like it's doing something. Something's happening in the background. And while that was happening, my battery life went from being perfectly normal, like an all day phone for me, to dropping fairly noticeably. Now my fix there was just to open up my recent, scroll all the way over and just clear that out, just close all my running apps. And I think I probably rebooted after that as well. And that seemed like it fixed everything for me. But again, something was definitely hanging, something was definitely acting up and my battery was dropping because of that. But it's a beta number one. So that kind of thing is gonna happen. And there are some like inconsistencies with the Material 3 Expressive, like as good as it is. And I really think that it looks fantastic. I think that it looks simultaneously like a Pixel, but also so refreshed and new. There are some inconsistencies. So like your volume uh, bar over here, I think looks good. It matches the theme. But if you go to expand it, you don't really have that theme and you have the vertical bar, but I think it should look more like this. It should have the, the transparent background, but it doesn't. So there are some inconsistencies with this for sure. By and large though, 
I have found this update to be pretty exceptionally smooth. The animations look really, really nice. Keep in mind, this is being captured wirelessly, so there may be a little bit of degradation in the smoothness there. But, man, everything just feels really, really nice and smooth. No real major complaints for me on this one. And I actually even went over to the Android Beta subreddit. And you'll see a lot of people, you know, this update is so peak. First big visual upgrade, I'm really impressed. Pleasantly surprised by the beta. Like, there are some bugs potentially happening here. But it does seem like most people are having a pretty solid experience with this beta. So look, I am not recommending to you hey, go install this beta, you're going to love it. Because as soon as I do that, something's going to go horribly wrong, and then you're going to be in the comments saying, why did you tell me to do this? And you're going to be mad at me. So I'm not telling you what to do, but I am telling you, it's been a pretty reasonably smooth experience for me. So if you do have maybe a spare Pixel phone, you want to test it there, pop your SIM in that instead, that will be even safer. If you want to test this out, and you want to see Material 3 Expressive, I think you're probably fairly safe to go ahead and do that. Now, I haven't tested Google Wallet, the tap to pay thing. Sometimes that doesn't work with betas, but I will say that my, my bank account, I'm not going to show you my bank account, but I'm logged into it and it, I can sign in and everything's fine there. I know people always ask about those two things. So guys, thanks for watching. Let me know. Give me feedback in the comments down below. What issues and bugs have you seen? Is it stable enough for your use? Daily driving, try to add to that data pool so we can help out as many people as we can who maybe want to try this out but are a little bit scared to do so. Again, add to that data pool. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.